Hey CVTV, welcome back to another ITC Reef Culture product spotlight at MACNA 2022 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Hey. Hey, what's up? So this time we're gonna be talking about this Reef Delete. So yeah. tell me a little bit about this thing. So this is a UVC pest control tool. It uses UVC light to break the DNA of the cells in the organism. You kill enough cells, the organism can't operate anymore or function to yeah. go through its daily body functions and it will collapse and it will rot away. And that's how the product works. So it's not an instant killer. It's not a laser at all. Okay. What it does have is a really, really highly focused UVC beam. Uh, we've got a really special uh, quartz lens that focuses the beam really, really down. So we're all forward power with our, with our UVC. Essentially, you put it over the pest. You want to get as close to it as possible, as humanly possible, and you need to irradiate it. So you're going to use this for a couple of minutes at a time or as long as possible uh, because you can't overdose with it and you do that treatment a few times so when the coral reinflates again because you've stopped doing it you go again and you're going to get a different area and you're going to be able to get more cells so it then causes more damage yeah so you, it's pretty much a one-hit wonder with bubble algae um, clove polyps if you've got pesky xenia growing at the base of your sps um, chop it back and then treat what's left in the rot. Hold the button down and um, you can get rid of Aptasia and uh, Majanos and things like that, but you've got to give it the time to make it work. Absolutely. The other thing as well is we have this little piece uh, which we call a snoot. So this is essentially a light shield. It blocks the output coming out of the torch and makes a really tiny spot of light. Um, so if you've got a pest in the middle of a clump of zoas, you pop that on top, uh, you put the snoot on, and then you can get right in between the coral without shedding any UV light. In most cases, we would recommend that people don't use this because it blocks so much of the light. I see. We also include a little credit card in the box, which has got a special UV reactive uh, light on it. Uh, and that little spot only lights up with UV light. So you can move the torch away and get closer and you see the spot size. So it's hard to see, but it is very powerful. So what safety features like built into it to make sure that we're so, being safe with it? Yeah, it's a, it's a controversial one for some, but the button doesn't latch down. So this is a, a dead man switch. You take your thumb off and it will stop. The second one is on the back is a basically a sensor that will detect whether it's in or out of water. So if you're using this, and you take it out of the tank, it will shut off. This thing, it, like you can feel like the quality of this thing. It's built, it's built tough. And obviously I think rechargeable batteries too, yeah, right? Yeah, so it's got an 18650 uh, lithium ion battery that's included. Um, the battery has a, a little USB uh, micro charging port built in it. So there, there isn't a charger that comes with it. We don't include the micro USB cable because everybody's got one. Um, and uh, yeah, you just charge up the battery, pop it in and you're ready to go. And the battery lasts absolutely ages because you're only using this a few minutes at a time. So, so this, this uh, was in development for almost three years. And um, by the time we found the right LED that did the job, um, by the time we got this to market, that LED was two years old. And much like the early days of aquarium lights, that technology basically accelerated so quickly. The next time we reordered our LEDs for the yeah. device, we can drive them harder, we can get more power out of it. So um, the devices that people are buying from stores today are 1.7 times more powerful. Yeah, so if, uh, if the box has got a 1.7X sticker on the front, that's our latest version. Yeah, awesome. Thank you for showing me this. No worries. You guys, make sure to do some research on this thing because I think you're gonna be seeing a lot of these around. So this is really cool. Thank you for showing me that. Much Cheers, appreciated. Man, thank you. I'll, I'll catch you guys later and enjoy the show.